Hi everyone, and welcome to another Art for Alzheimer's Care video. Um, today I thought it might be fun to make these stickers. Um, this recipe that I found in a recipe book that my auntie had given to me before she passed away. The recipe book includes a lot of traditional Dutch recipes in it, but it also has a few of these thrifty craft kind of ideas in it too. So I thought it might be fun to try this recipe. So to get started with this, you will need a package of Jello, um, and you'll need some pre-cut pictures out of a magazine. The ones that I've selected are kind of garden themed, but of course anything that you like you can use to make stickers out of. So with the powder, I've put the powder into a separate jar there, and you'll need one tablespoon of the powder. And then you will need two tablespoons of hot water. And then you're just going to mix that up really well so that the gelatin dissolves. Alright, back to the workstation. Um, you'll probably want a piece of parchment paper. Because I found that the stickers did get a little bit sticky. And it was nice to have the parchment paper there to put them onto and peel off of later. So it's very simple. Um, with the solution that you made, you're just going to paint it onto the back of the pictures that you cut out. So in the recipe it says to lay them face down to dry, but I found that some of mine started curling up on themselves, like you see here. Um, and so because the parchment paper was underneath it already, I just turned them over to dry with the wet side down. And that seemed to work out just fine laying them down like that. And so here they are after they've dried. I checked on them after an hour and they were dry. I ended up leaving them overnight. Um, so they were definitely dry by the time that I got back to them. And as you can see, pretty easy to peel off of the parchment paper. And so with these stickers, I decided to make the garden scene project. I will put a link in the description to that. It's one of the projects that I made previously. And it was just fun to try making the stickers. You have to lick them before you stick them down on the paper. And as you can see, they stick fairly well to the paper. I was quite impressed by that. And then, of course, because it was made out of flavored gelatin, they didn't taste horrible when you licked them to stick them down. So yeah, after sticking them down, I just had some fun with the watercolor paints and the brush and just kind of created a little scene using the stickers. So there you go. I hope that if you try this recipe that you enjoy making it. It was I found it quite fun. It's nice to try different things. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video.